Land Rover was founded in 1948, and what they do here, they celebrate their 70th birthday. This is one of the cars of these older days, a serious one, but that is a reborn, which is, let's say, a new car. But since then, they developed quite a lot of different models. So, for instance, we do have the Range Rover Evoque, which really was a fantastic car for its time. And we see here a very special car, which is the Range Rover Coupe. A limited car, very nice. But they also do things like that one. This is a utility car for the Austrian Red Cross, and that is to find people. It's not to transport somebody who had an injury. This is just to find people. And this is why this one features an octocopter with an infrared camera on board. So with this octocopter, you can really see where people are, where you can't walk to rescue them. Next to me now is Felix Breutigam, CCO of Jaguar Land Rover. Uh, Jaguar Land Rover is a brand with a lot of history. Can you tell me a bit more about where do these brands come from? Well, actually, just look at the stand here at the Paris Motor Show we are opening today. We are really celebrating our history for both brands. On the one side, for Jaguar, we are celebrating 50 years of the XJ. A car that was very innovative back then, that was actually launched here in Paris 50 years ago by Sir William Lyons himself, our founder. And it was a car that combined coupe-like design with almost the performance of an F-type, so truly innovative. And now 50 years on, we're launching the i in the market, the first full electric vehicle that is just as beautiful to look at and just as much fun to drive, but really leading Jaguar into the future. So we're combining our her rich heritage uh, with embracing the future. Likewise, on the Land Rover side, um, we are launching the Range Rover and Range Rover Sport p this year and showing them here uh, on the stand, um, but also kind of in smaller parts of our business. For example, our more than 60-year-old uh, cooperation with the Red Cross. Um, we have an example here, which is a mobile command center of the Red Cross, which is one of the most innovative rescue and command center you can find in the world uh, uh, with a super high-tech drone. And all that is based on a cooperation between us and um, the Red Cross and uh, is actually going to be delivered very soon uh, to the Red Cross.